Hi, Hank Martinez here. And uh, I'm gonna start a little series based on love. Um, you know, through my schooling and reading all the books on relationships and everything, I've realized that there's a lot of mumbo jumbo that exists out there that doesn't really teach people how to deal with problems or deal with the realism of really what love is in the 21st century. This um, urban love, or you could say, like even if you're not in an urban setting, it kind of everything kind of has that feel, this fast-paced love thing in the days of you know we have internet dating, people actually getting married over internet dating, you know. So these books that kind of have the knowledge off of what I would call the old paradigm don't really work now. So if you look for advice, what do you do? Or if you're looking how to get a strong building block, a strong foundation for your relationship, what do you do? Come to heck. All right. So first thing. I want to discuss is um, understanding your role in a relationship. Now, in this time of where egos are out of control and people are very hypersensitive and everybody wants to air of being exclusive, even within a relationship, you know, it leads to a lot of negative energy in the relationship. It kind of makes things fall apart, even if the love is there. Because understand. Love is the strongest force in the universe, but it's not enough because the love that we exhibit to each other nowadays is not always a true love because it's more something that's symbiotic and based on our egos a little bit. And I'll get more into that at a later time, but let's get into knowing your role. Now, in every relationship, you can see somebody kind of takes the lead and is who you would call the more outgoing person or the image of what the couple is. You can see a lot of famous things where Will Smith, or well, they're not a couple anymore, but Will, Will and Jay were together, Will was the lead. You know, he's the more enamorous person. You know him more. Though she's famous too, he's always out in front. Um, there's Stefan, it's Gloria takes the lead. Um, different things like that. But you see, or even Jay-Z and Beyonce. Um, some people say Jay-Z takes the lead, but internationally, Beyonce is still more known than Jay-Z. So who's really running things there? And that's where you got to look at the role relationship and understand where the strength is and where the weakness is. Now, let's go back to the Stefan example, Gloria Stefan and Emilio Stefan. Gloria's the famous one. She's a face. You'll see Emilio Stefan will walk right by you in the street. They won't even know who he is, right? But guess what? Though she's famous... He's the one that constructed her whole career. He's the powerful one, the producer, the man with all the connects, and who people really go to for the money. So, though in the public phase, like she's taking the lead, he kind of is taking the lead. And it works. We have the Jay-Z Beyonce, right? Everybody said, hey, what are you talking about? Beyonce's a star before Jay-Z. Jay-Z star without Beyonce. And some people may say that Beyonce may actually have increased Jay-Z's profile from the sense of, you know, he looks cooler because he has a bad streak in the game. But understand, if you people tend to forget history, if you go back, there was a time in Destiny's Child where Beyonce and the group was considered too popular to commercial. And so, because of that, you know, they had people actually booed them. They actually a game in Philadelphia with the day of Christmas, dressed up like Santa Claus, and they got booed. So when Jay-Z came, he kind of actually made Beyonce a little cooler because of his whole persona and him making it more street, it kind of dumbed her down. And when you look at it, who's taking the lead? Once he was in the picture, her career really took off. People forget Crazy in Love was a huge song because, not because it was a good song, but he was also on the verse. Um, a, a lot of her big songs, Upgrade You, Jay-Z's there. Um, a lot of first things she puts out, Jay-Z's there. So, not to make it about celebrities, but understand that the lead there was taken by him, but done in a softer role. It had it didn't it wasn't up front. It wasn't in your face. And though someone may perceive the person who's out there in public shaking hands, kissing babies, as the lead, the head of the couple, that's not always so true. Sometimes you have to look at the other side of things. So even in your relationships, your ego can really mess you up. It can make you look as if you're so important. But it also works on the other side. You got the person that's building a household and take care of the home, 
who think that they're most important. So then you have the two fighting forces. Now understand, one thing may be greater than the other, but it's still needed. In order to make it a perfect relationship, yes, you could establish who may do more, but understand the other side is needed. It's like yin and yang. People tend to think that yin and yang is an equal force. But when you look at the symbol, yes, it's even because it's trying to give you a steady frame. But what is really happening with yin and yang? The force is turning. It's a push and pull. But something is pushing to make it move. That's the stronger force. You understand? So understand in your relationships that there's a stronger force in the dynamic of the relationship. But the other side is needed. So all in all, what I'm saying is, don't neglect your partner. Get off the ego. Look what your partner's doing. And understand what you're doing. And keep everything flowing. But we'll get more into love. I'm going to get more into what I just said right now. That's more of a point of view of how you're looking at things. Another time. Right now. I want you guys to digest on that. Love each other. Go home. Hug your lady. Kiss your man. Make love. Till next time.